Hi, this is Stan Lyle with Master Math. During the lesson, you're going to come to some You Try It slides where you're asked to do problems that relate to the lesson. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you have a really good time today. I, I don't understand. Sorry, I don't quite follow. I'm not sure I got that. I'm not with you. English. English. English has a million ways to say the same thing. It's so difficult. And I've heard people say math is difficult. Well, I've got to admit, in math, there's usually more than one way to say the same thing. And we're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about expressing relationships between X and Y in several different ways. We're going to talk about point slope form and standard form. Let's start with point slope form. Hopefully you recognize the equation on the screen. Y minus Y1 divided by X minus X1 equals M, or the slope. The change in the y values divided by the change in the x values equals the slope. Well, we're all good at algebra now, and we know we can manipulate this equation and write it in several different forms. For instance, we could multiply both sides of this equation by x minus x1, and if, if we did that, the equation would look like this, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And that is point-slope form. Point-slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Well, what do all those x's and y's and y1's and m's, and what do they all mean? Well, we'll go over that, and you're going to discover it's not that tricky. That y is just a generic variable y. It's an unknown y. It's any y. Any y minus y1. Well, y1 is not any y. y1 is a specific y. I'm going to pick a point on the line, and it's going to have coordinates of x1 and y1. And that y1 is just the coordinate, the y value of that point. So y minus y1 equals m, m is the slope of the line, times x, and x is just a generic variable. It's an unknown x. x minus x1. But x1 is not an unknown x. It's a known x. It's the x value of the point that we chose on our line. Well, now, the point that we chose on our line has coordinate values, in this case, of 1 and 6. So I could go back to my point-slope form equation and replace the y1 with 6, and the x1 with 1, and the equation would read y minus 6 equals m times x minus 1. Well, now I also know what m is, or I could calculate it. m is the slope of the line. And in this case, the slope is a rise of 2 and a run of 1, or a slope of 2. So I could replace that m value with the actual slope of the line. And these, this line in slope, in point slope form, is y minus 6 equals 2 times x minus 1. Now again, I'm good at algebra, so I can manipulate this equation and put it in a different form. And what I'm going to do now is put this equation in slope-intercept form. First thing I'm going to do is distribute this 2 to the x and the minus 1. And when I do that, the equation is going to read y minus 6 equals 2x minus 2. Now. I want to move this minus 6 to the other side of the equation, so I'm going to add 6 to both sides of the equation. And the equation reads y equals 2x plus 4. And that is slope-intercept form. 
My slope is 2, a rise of 2 and a run of 1, and my y-intercept is 4. So we concluded that the uh, point-slope form equation for this line was y minus 6 equals 2 times x minus 1. And we discovered that we could manipulate that equation and get it to read y equals 2x plus 4, which is slope-intercept form. Well, what if we would picked a different point on this line? Let's say we would picked the point minus 2, 0. How would that work? Well, let's find out. We could change the equation to y minus y1, and y1 in this case is 0. So I'm going to put a 0 at y1, and that equals the slope 2 times x minus x1. Well, x1 in this case is minus 2, so minus minus 2 equals positive 2, and my point-slope form equation reads y minus 0 equals 2 times x plus 2. Well, now let's manipulate that equation and put it in slope-intercept form. y minus 0 is just y, and 2 times x plus 2 is 2x plus 4. So I can rewrite this equation y equals 2x plus 4. And that's the same equation I had previously when I converted y minus 6 equals 2 times x minus 1 to slope-intercept form. All three of these equations describe exactly the same relationship between x and y. They're just in different forms. Now you try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. Well, I hope you found this easy. If you didn't, don't get discouraged. Just keep trying, because this is not that tricky. Let's go over this one. Y minus 3 equals 2 times X minus 2. I'm going to graph this relationship. And I know that it's in point-slope form. So I know that this 3, this positive 3, is my Y1 value. And I know this positive 2 is my X1 value. So I know one point on this line. It's the point x2, y3. x2, y3. Well, now I also know the slope of the line. The slope of the line is 2. That's a rise of 2 and a run of 1 from my original point. So I can rise 2, run 1, place a point there, and then draw a line between those two points and that is the line for y minus 3 equals 2 times x minus 2. Well, what if we were going the other direction? What if we were asked to create an equation in point-slope form for a line? How do we do that? Well, again, the generic point-slope form is y minus some y value, y1, equals m, the slope, times x minus some specific point, x1, that falls on the line. So the first thing I want to do is create or pick a point on the line. And I'm going to pick that point, 3 minus 2, an x value of 3, a y value of minus 2. Now I know my x1 and my y1, but I need to figure out what my m is, what my slope is. And my slope is a rise of 3, positive, divided by a run of negative 5. My slope is minus 3 fifths. So now I plug minus 3 fifths in for m, and the equation of this line is y plus 2 equals minus 3 fifths times x 
minus 3. You try this one. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit your forward key to move on to my solution. Here we're asked to write two equations for this line, each in point-slope form. And, and hopefully you understand at this point that there are really an infinite number of equations in point-slope form that could describe this line. There are as many equations as there are points on the line. We just have to pick two of the points in this case in order to create two equations that describe the relationship between x and y. So I need two points, and I need the slope. Let's use 2 minus 2 as our first point. Now let's calculate the slope. Rise over run, I've got a slope of 1 over minus 2, or minus 1 half. Now I can plug my x and y values and my m value into the generic point-slope form equation and it's going to read y plus 2 equals minus 1 half times x minus 2. Well now I've got to create a second equation in point slope form. So I need a second point. How about that one? Minus 8 and 3. Now all I do is plug the x value minus 8 and the y value 3 plus our unchanged slope of minus 1 half into the point slope form equation and it's going to read y minus 3 equals 1 half times x plus 8. Well let's talk briefly about standard form and I say briefly because you don't have to understand a whole lot about standard form at this stage. All you really have to do is understand what standard form is and how to move equations around so that you can convert point-slope form to standard form or standard form to slope-intercept form. Standard form includes two variables and both are on the left side of the equal sign. You've got an x value and a y value. It also includes a coefficient a that's multiplied times the x value a coefficient b that's multiplied times the y value, and a constant number c that stands by itself on the right side of the equation. And again, all you really need to know at this point is how to convert other forms to standard form. For instance, if I had a slope-intercept form equation, I could change it to standard form. I'd have to remember that in standard form, both my x and my y are on the left side of the equation. So I'd have to move that 4x so it's on the left side of the equation. To do that, I need to subtract 4x from both sides of the equation. And when I do that, the equation reads minus 4x plus y equals minus 6. Minus 4 is my a value. My x value is on the left side of the equation where it belongs. My b value is right there. You don't see it, but it's a 1. I've got my y value. And on the right side of the equation, I've got my c value, which is minus 6. Well, what if we had an equation in point-slope form? y plus 2 equals 4 times x minus 1. I could convert that to standard form, and I'd have to remember that I want both my x value and my y value on the left side of the equation, and just a constant number on the right side of the equation. First thing I want to do is to distribute the 4 to that x minus 1, and when I do, the equation reads y plus 2 equals 4x minus 4. Now I need to get that plus 2 to the right side of the equation because I want all my constant numbers on the right side. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. And then I need to get that 4x to the left side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides of the equation. And when I do that and simplify everything, I've got minus 4x 
plus y equals minus 6. And you'll notice that that's exactly the same standard form I had from the previous equation that we started with in slope-intercept form. What this means is y equals 4x minus 6 is the same as minus 4x plus y equals minus 6, which is the same as y plus 2 equals 4 times x minus 1, which again is the same as minus 4x plus y equals minus 6. They're just in different forms. This is slope-intercept form. This is standard form, and this is point-slope form. You try this one. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to my answer. Okay, I want to convert this equation, which is in point-slope form, to standard form. And just to make it easy, I've written the standard form down on the left, left side of the uh, slide. AX plus BY equals C. So I've got to convert this so both my X and Y value are on the left side of the equation, and my constant number is on the right side of the equation. First thing I want to do is distribute the 3 to both the X and the minus 4. And when I do that, it's going to read Y minus 2 equals 3X minus 12. Now, I got to get all my constant numbers on the right side of the equation. So I'm going to add 2 to both the right and the left side of the equation. And now I need to get my 3x to the left side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both the left and right side of the equation. And when I do that and simplify, the equation reads minus 3x plus y equals minus 10. My a is minus 3, my b is 1, and my c is minus 10. That's our lesson on point-slope form and standard form. I hope you found this easy and you learned a lot. Now it's time to test your skills. Go to www.mastermath.info and there you'll find worksheets and quizzes to help you master this concept even better. I hope you had a good time. I hope you learned a lot. And I hope we see you again real soon.